There you go, look at it, it's a very distinctive tail. Never seen that one before. That's seven pound, 12 ounces. With a decent scrap, I weeded me a couple of times. But it's caught on the uh, pops up maggots using a uh, pop up boiling mix to make the, uh, the fake maggot to pop it up because we don't allow plastics on this lake. But nice fish. Other than it's a uh, poor, poor tail, which is a bit of a state. Yeah, it's a lovely fish. So, anyway, let's get this back and uh, hopefully there's another one out there. This is the uh, popped up maggot rig that I'm using. This lake has recently, for this season, introduced a ban on plastic baits. And uh, obviously as a tench angler, I use uh, plastic casters, plastic maggots quite a bit in my, my fishing, so I've had to adapt. And what I've come up with is this uh, fake maggot made out of pop-up boiling mix. And uh, it's actually something prototype that's been put together by a mate of mine at a bait company. And uh, got two maggots on a size 12 hook and I'm attaching the uh, the pop-up maggot using a uh, small bait band and I'm popping it up four inches above the uh, maggot feeder, inline maggot feeder and then I've got a little bit of tungsten putty just to pin everything down there you go, two bits of tungsten putty and that just pins everything down and that's been catching me tench, so, you know, I'm uh, pretty confident in this rig now. It seems to work a treat. Let's get it out anyway, see if we can get another fish. Stealth goose. Taking the Mickey now. It would just not pick up the hook baits. And yeah, it's basically right on the spot. So, got the uh, first one of the evening. It's caught on the uh, inline feeder with a trim down pop up boilie and a couple of bits of worm on it. And it's a, what I'd call a quintessential tench for this lake. Proper Oxfordshire fish. It's not, not, not a big fish, but it's a pretty one. It's full of beans. There you go, though. Lovely jubbly. That's exactly what we're after. Lovely sunny evening. A lovely tench. Let's get that rod back in. Let's see if we get another one. So this is one of the rigs that I'm using. It's an inline dread and feeder that I've just cut uh, the holes to make, the, make it bigger to let the uh, soil worm cast and uh, chopped worms that I've got in there come out when I retrieve the uh, the feeder so it's it's leaving the stuff in the swim where I'm fishing. Um, got a four inch hook link of uh, mono filament. I'm using a size 10 hook, small bit of uh, trim down pop-up boilie and some pieces of worm on a hair and I'm using one of those uh, 
quick stops that Cora make. Uh, £10 main line, and then I've got a little bit of uh, where is it? That's it. There you go, you can see it now. I've put some lead putty um, above the feeder. And at the moment, that's getting me bikes. It's kind of got a bit hectic at the moment. I was uh, just um, weighing a fish, and, and uh, my other rod went off. And I lost that fish because it got into the weed bed. So it wasn't quick enough because I was uh, having to make sure the other fish was okay. And then I've just had another run whilst I've been uh, rebaiting my other rod. And I missed that because it got into the weed bed. So I've got to stop taking videos and uh, pay more attention, I think. Another fish. And this time I have got it because I was paying attention. It's another female. Similar sort of size, really. I'm not... Third fish of the day. Lost a few as well. Still got a couple of hours yet to go, and they're still fizzing even with all the commotion that I'm making. So uh, it's looking good. So Anthony looking for spots. <laughs> 